Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connections Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this series of videos, we will be focusing our attention on the steel connection workflow for designing gusset connections for a variety of different vertical bracing situations. The different vertical brace joints that we have available in RAM Connection Standalone include the column beam brace joint, the vertical X brace joint, a chevron brace, and also a column base with a gusset connection. Each of these different joints have different column, beam, and brace sections that are permitted to be used in that connection type, and several of these particular joints can also support seismic provisions. We will now turn our attention to our RAM Connection Standalone application, where as you can see, we've already modeled several different types of joints that will require gusset connections. For this particular video, we're going to be designing a gusset connection for a chevron brace joint. The joint that we're going to be designing is for joint number two in our sample model. When you're ready to start your connection design, select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, followed by the assign icon. In the connection assignment dialog, you're going to notice that the program has automatically set your filters to a chevron brace of a vertical bracing configuration. It's also important to note that all gusset connections in RAM Connection Standalone are considered smart connections. Now each type of gusset connection may have more than one configuration for you to choose from when picking a connection template. For this particular exercise, we can see that we have two different options. This is a typical chevron brace, and this is for a concentric braced frame. I'm going to go ahead and select the CVR option, and then click on the Assign icon. Once the gusset is assigned, we'll go ahead and click Close. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look in my joint selection area and review the status of the connection design. Here I can see that the interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that this did pass all code checks without producing any errors or warnings. Now for each connection within your model within RAM Connection Standalone, you can access the connection pad and review and modify the connection parameters as needed. To access the connection pad, select the joint you're most interested in, select the design tab of the ribbon toolbar, and then click on the edit icon. Once here, you're going to select your gusset detailing in the pull down menu. Now here I'm going to be able to see my gusset connection as it was designed. In the ribbon toolbar, I'll be able to again verify the status of this connection design. It is in green and my interaction ratio is less than 1.0. Now there may be times where I might want to modify or edit some of the parameters to make the detailing more convenient. To do that, you're going to select your different interfaces and you're going to notice that all the possible interfaces for a chevron brace are going to be available in the interfaces pull down. Now our particular model has a lower gusset. So you can see here I can customize the information for the gusset including the plate thickness, material, and welding information. And I can also adjust my lower left bracing information. This would basically be how the gusset is attached to the bracing members. You can see here that the default was bolted. I can switch to welded if I wanted to, but for my particular example, I'm going to stick with the bolted option. Now after reviewing the detailing and making any adjustments as needed, I can also access the connection report. 
Here I'll be able to see all the design checks that were performed to arrive at these results. I'll be able to see the status of the check and the code reference that is applicable. The last thing I'm going to take a look at while in the connection pad is my DXF view. In RAM connection standalone, you can review the DXF drawing for each of your connections in your model. You can export this DXF and you can customize your layers. Now, had I made any changes within the connection pad, I need to make sure I click on this save icon. This will save all that information to the currently selected joint. Now at this point, I did not make any changes, so I'm just gonna close out of the connection pad, and I'm gonna save my model. At this point, this concludes my process for designing a gusset connection for a Chevron brace in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.